chemistry that you feel when you go through the process of getting to the term sheet. And usually, you know, we we're right now in term, in term sheet discussions with a group. We've started the documentation process, and you know the the interactions that you have, you know, both leading up to the term sheet and then uh, as you're preparing the legal documents and getting ready to make the transaction happen, those interactions are really important. And um, you can gain, from both sides of the table, you can gain a great understanding of who you're getting ready to invest with by the way they react to your questions and inquiries around the term sheet. And conversely, the investor can learn a lot about you and the way you react to questions about how you expect to run your business and grow your company. And But at the end of the day, if you get through that process, and you you typically feel really good, you should feel pretty good on both sides of the table, and it's more of a chemistry thing uh, for us. The other thing I was going to add is there's sort of a new um, funding gap that's emerging that we've only seen happen in the last 18 months, and it's been where companies from anywhere, Silicon Valley, elsewhere, we get a phone call. And they say, you know, um, we think, we feel like there's a, a term sheet or, or someone's contemplating a term sheet for us. So they've given us a term sheet for, say, a $5 million round. But that $5 million round is at a valuation that maybe they think is a little too low. And so if they could just raise an additional $1 million and get a little bit more traction, kind of a runway extension, if you will, um, they often they're, they're starting to say we'd like to put that kind of capital together, 